What's up YouTube, William Accio, back with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to create a very successful CV resume to go along with your highlight video. A few weeks ago, I actually made a video on how to make a highlight reel. So now that you're gonna have both, you guys can put them together and send them out to scouts all over the place. So without further ado, guys, let's get started straight into this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Please make sure you like and subscribe and let's go. So you might ask, what is a CV resume? So a CV resume is, your, is often your first chance to get attention from a recruiter. And we all know how important first impressions are. It also shows you understand what it takes to get scouted. And it shows that you respect the recruiter's time by researching what you have to do and what precautions you have to take for them to actually look at you. So usually you start off with a player profile. And this is a chance for you to spike the recruiter's interest. So here you kind of want to talk about yourself, you know, your abilities, but you don't want to exaggerate it too much. You want to talk about the player that you believe to be and the player that you've gained throughout your whole career. And unlike the rest of your CV, this portion is mainly opinion based. So it's about you kind of tell a little bit about yourself and your goals and what you're trying to accomplish. So next up is your vital statistics. This portion should list your physical attributes, your physical stats, your awards, any previous tournaments you've been to, and also, you know, any other languages that you speak. Soccer recruiters aim to find certain players with a certain type of physical build. So your physical stats actually show your suitability. Listing accurate vital stats will improve your chance of getting scouted and getting signed. Scouts and managers have limited positions to fill in for a squad. So you always have to keep that in mind. So a good example of vital stats would be, you know, a player like me, I'm a winger. A winger needs to be great at agility, needs to be great at positional sense, needs to be great at strength, speed, all these things. And you never know guys, a scout might come across your CV resume, they might see that we need a player of this specific build, this specific uh, statistics, and you could be that player that gets signed. And to go along with that guys, you wanna make sure you stay down your preferred foot. I know some people can shoot their left, some people can shoot their right, but it's good to know what dominant foot you are with because They'll find out, and if you lie to them, if you tell them your ambidextric, you can use both feet, but you can only use one feet, they're gonna find out when it comes to trials. Next up is your current season stats. Your player stats actually give recruiters a snapshot of your current form, regardless of how bad or how good your team is doing. So for example, let's say your team is in the bottom third, but you're, you're fighting for that top goal scorer spot, and they see that, they will actually look at you, regardless of how bad your team is doing, because you're putting in that work, and when it comes to scouting, they're not scouting the whole team, they're scouting you. So these stats actually mirror how professional clubs carry out player performance analysis. So this will make it easier for the professional club to compare you to their current crop of pro players. All right, so next up is your key skills. Try to look at this as a summary of your best qualities, strengths, and your sporting achievements. This enables recruiters to see how you might fit into their A-team. You have to know that a coach will look at different qualities depending on their current playing squad to see if there's any gaps that they have to fill. So always be honest and don't lie because when it comes down to it, if you're gonna lie about your stats or your key skills, it will get shown out in trials. So for example, instead of listing things like great agility, I'm a fast player, uh, I can jump high, I have good headers, you wanna be more detailed when you're mentioning your key skills. You wanna put things down like 85% succession rate going 1v1. You wanna put things down like 16.1 seconds in the UTRGV agility test. You wanna put things down like vertical jump height 2.4 meters. You wanna be detailed when you're mentioning your key skills so recruiters can look at it and they can actually be impressed. And next up, you wanna mention your playing history. List all the clubs you played throughout your soccer career. Recruiters actually use this section to see how long you've been in a structured soccer environment for and the level of training you may have received. So if it's a high level, they can tell and if it's a low level, they can also tell. And also you might have not known this, but your playing history actually shows if you're a player that's loyal and that's actually stayed with one team or a player that likes to bounce around and move to different teams because they always take that into consideration as well. And also you want to add your educational qualifications. And this is just for them to see that, yeah, this is somebody that likes to learn. This is somebody that takes academics seriously. So if they come into the pro environment, they will listen, they will learn, they will learn fast and they will be like ready to work. And you don't wanna bore them out with your educational qualifications. You don't wanna tell them, oh, I'm an AP student, I took this class, this class, this class, and this class. You wanna just be concise and be factual of your most recent. And now finally, we move on to the references and the photo section. For the references, you don't wanna to add too many references. 
For mine, I just add my club coach. You know, he's somebody that helped me a lot. And you can also add uh, academy coach. So just a couple references. So if they need to call somebody to talk about your resume, they can always put in a good word for you. And for your photo, adding a headshot or a full length photograph will actually give recruiters access to see your physique and your visual health. You have to remember though, when you're putting a photo, it can't just be any photo. It has to be a photo in a soccer situation. So whether it's, you know, you guys had uh, team pictures, you can use one of those pictures and it's gotta be nice and clean. We're in a soccer jersey or soccer shirt and you're just up, shoulders up, chest out and you look professional. That's how you want your soccer photo to look like on your CV resume. All right, guys, that's it for the CV resume. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So now what I want you guys to do is go out and spend some time and make a CV resume. Go out and spend some time and make a highlight video and send them out to the coaches that you want to send them out to. Especially with COVID going on, I know there's high schoolers that might not be playing at the moment. This is something that you guys can get started on and start sending them out. What I want to do for you guys is if you guys can complete a CV resume on your own and you have some questions, you can actually email them to me in my email down below in the description and I can look at them. I can hopefully revise it for you guys a little bit, tell you guys what you need to work on and send it back so you guys are ready to go. Personally, I wish I had somebody out there to really guide me and help me with these little things and becoming a pro and playing at the top level. So I wanna make sure that I can help you guys and I wanna make sure that I can give you guys all the information that I know myself, that I've you know learned and that I've soaked in throughout the years and I wanna give it all to you guys. So if you guys have anything, you just honestly ask me and I'm gonna to try to help you guys as best as I can. But in terms of the CV resume and the highlight reels, they're gonna do a lot for you because a lot of kids actually don't make these and some of them actually, they still get pro offers just because I felt good of a player they are. But if you're somebody that's, you know, kind of an underdog or in the shadows a little bit, but believe, but you believe you have skill and you know, your stats aren't that bad, a CV resume and a highlight reel will go well. And once you send them out to coaches and scouts, they might see you and they might be like, oh, this guy's actually pretty good. So we might have to give him a chance. So guys, don't ever be discouraged, you know, just keep working. And these two things here are something that you guys can, you know, get done and eventually send out. So I hope you guys can actually learn something from this video. I guess sometimes making a secret resume or making a highlight video, you know, it can be time consuming and you can get a little bit bored, but you shouldn't be getting bored. If this is something that you want, if this is something that you actually dream of, you should not be getting bored. It should be exciting you making such a masterpiece and hopefully you can use this to go and pro or getting uh, scouting opportunities. Get to work, keep plugging away and your time will come. It's about how bad you want it guys. How bad do you want it? If you want it bad enough, you will get it. Anyways, if you guys have any other questions, please comment down below or message me in my DMs. I'll try to get to all of them as soon as I can. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. Roll to 2K. Let's get there. I'm gonna try to get there as fast as I can. I'm gonna keep trying to bring out content to you guys. I love this. I love making YouTube videos for you guys and it's something that I truly enjoy. But anyways, guys, please make sure you're staying determined, driven, and disciplined in your goals every single day. And I'm gonna catch up with you guys next time. Peace out. Hey,